boys and girls. Today it's Stories with Shosh. Shosh means grandmother in Swahili, and I have been to Kenya many times, and there are many children in Kenya that call me Shosh, and I love the sound of it in my ears. Today we're going to read a story from the country of Kenya. Do you know where Kenya is? Kenya is in the continent of Africa, and Kenya remains very close to the equator. That means that the weather there is considerably warm. I have been to Kenya many times and I've enjoyed every visit to be able to enjoy being with the children and being able to read stories to them. Today my story is called Mama Panya's Pancakes. It's written by Mary and Rich Chamberlain and the illustrator is Julia Cairns. But before we get started, I want to share some words with you that we're going to be finding in this story so that you understand what I'm reading. One of the words is dousing. If you've ever been to a campfire and you've seen a fire that's been in the fire pit and it needs to be put out, somebody's going to douse it with water. They're going to throw water on it to put it out. Another word that we're going to come across is rural. Do you know what rural is? Most of us don't live in a rural area. That is an area that's like a country outside the town. Another word that we're going to come up with, and this is a fun one, dollop. If you've ever had um, maybe strawberry shortcake and somebody puts a dollop of whipped cream on top, you want to make sure it's a big dollop because whipped cream is so tasty with shortcake. The last word that I have for you is plantain. Plantain is a word, and it's not plantation, it's plantain. Plantain is a word that comes from the banana family. And a plantain is a banana, but you don't eat it raw, you have to cook it. So now let's get started with our story. Mama Panya sang as she kicked sand with her bare feet, dousing the breakfast fire. Adika, hurry up, she called cheerfully. Today we go to market. Did you hear that word douse? She doused the fire. Surprise, I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now Mama Panya had to hurry. After storing her pots, gathering her bag, and slipping her feet into her sandals, Manya pa Mama Panya called, I'm ready too, Adika. Where are you? Here I am, Mama, two steps ahead of you. He sat under the Balbo tree, Mama Panya's walking stick in hand. Don't you love these pictures? They're so pretty. Why, yes, you are. She accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Remember that phrase, because you're going to hear it a lot. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? You are a smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Yay! How many pancakes will you make, Mama? Mama fingered two coins, folded in the cloth tied around her waist. A little bit and a little bit more. Rounding the corner, they see Mzi Odolo sitting at the river. How about Asabui? Mama asked softly so she wouldn't chase away the fish. Adika blurted out, We're having pancakes tonight. Please come. Adika, Mama whispered in his ear. Mzi Odolo waved back saying, Asante sana, I'll be there. Mama quickened her pace. We had to invite Mzi, Adika said. He's our oldest friend. Hurry up, you're a few steps behind, Mama replied. Look, Mama, it's Sawadee and Naiman. Adika's friends tapped long reeds against the thighs of their cattle, moving them along. I'll just be a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika, Mama called. Mama hadn't gone too far before he returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. Oh my goodness, how many people has he invited so far? Mzi, Sawadi, and Naaman. That's three. 
Oh, how many people will that be? Let's see. Sawadi, Naaman, you and me. Adika counted. And Umzi Odolo. That's only five. Ay, how many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. You'll have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices, and vegetables. Adika spotted his school friend, Gamilla, at her plantain stand. There's that word plantain. Mama, she loves pancakes. Now, now, don't you? But before she could finish, he ran off to see his friend. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear, You will come, won't you? Of course, Gamilla replied. Mama shot a stare at Adika and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, we'll be able to stretch the flower. Ay, how much do you think I can stretch flowers, son? Adika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. At the flower stand, Mama said, Adika, you sit here. After greeting Bibi and Juana Sawena, Mama asked, What can you give me for my money? She offered the larger of the two coins to Bibi Zawena, who scooped a cup of flour onto a piece of brown paper. Adika popped up. Mama's making pancakes today. Can you come? Oh, how wonderful! I think we can give a little bit more for that coin. Juana Zawena put a second cup into the paper, then tied it up with a string. We'll see you later. Mama tucked the package into her bag. Ay, ye, ye! You and I will be lucky to share half a pancake. But Mama, we have a little bit and a little bit more. Come, Adika, keep up with me. We may have just enough left for a small chili pepper. Leave it to me, Mama. I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried out. But he ran ahead to Rafiki Kaya's spice, spice table. Mama got there just in time to hear. You guessed it. Mama's making pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya exclaimed. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. <sighs> they headed home. How many people did we invite to pancakes tonight? Adika, skipping two steps ahead, sang his reply. All of our friends, Mama. Mama piled small sticks and twigs into the fire pit. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chili pepper in a pot while Adika added some water. She stirred in all the flour, seeing that there would be none to save. Mama poured a dollop, there's that word dollop, into the oiled pan on the fire. Sawandi and Naaman were the first to arrive, shouting, Hodi! Adika called, Karibu, to welcome them. They carried two leather drinking gourds filled with milk and a small pail of butter. Mama Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Mzi Odolo came soon after. Old Man River has given us three fish today. Gamilla arrived with a plantain bunch perched on her head. They go very well with pancakes. Bibi and Buana Zawina brought a package filled with more flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away for later. When Rafiki Kaya arrived, she brought handfuls of salt and cardamom spice along with her thumb piano. And the feast began as they sat under the baobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterwards, Kaya played the thumb piano and Mzi Odolo sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eye and a smile on his face, I know you will make pancakes again soon, Mama. She smiled, Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. Wasn't that a surprise in that story? Who would have thought that that little cup of flour was going to explode into a whole different type of dinner meal for friends? You and I make pancakes. This is the kind of pancakes we make. 
but they made pancakes in a different way. Do you like pancakes? Maybe today you all can make pancakes together with mom and dad and have a breakfast. I've enjoyed being with you today, and I hope we get together really soon and read another story about Africa. Bye until next time. Thank you.